All right, so today we're talking one tip that'll instantly get you more views on Instagram, but it may not be as good as it sounds. So I've talked a lot before about how to get views on Instagram. I made a whole video about it showing my top five tips. I'll link it here, you can watch that if you want. But this video is tailored towards one hack that anyone can do to instantly get more views on your reels. And it is guaranteed 100% gonna get you more views, but there's a caveat to getting these more views. And I'm gonna talk you through why you may be suited towards making this decision to using this hack for your profile. It may benefit your profile, or it may actually be detrimental to your profile to get these more views. So first I'm gonna go through what Instagram looks for before they promote a post to the wider community. So obviously first when you put up your piece of content, it shows it to a few of your followers, then if they like it, they engage well, then it gets promoted to more followers. If they engage with it, more followers, and then eventually it'll go to people who aren't following you. It'll just get bigger and bigger the more people keep engaging with it and the longer they watch. Now, different reactions promote different amounts of boost to the greater community. So to break that down a little bit more clearly, if you put up a post, if someone sees it, and they just flick on straight away, you're gonna get hardly any interaction because Instagram's gonna say, right, this person only stayed on Instagram on this post for about half a second, therefore, we want them staying longer on the app, therefore, this isn't a very engaging post. If that person looks at your post and reads the caption, then flicks on, that's another extra bit of engagement because they spent a little bit more time on your post, but it's still not as good if they stay on your post and give it a like because that means that it's high quality content, I like this. So there's basically a scale of events that can happen. So you can count just looking at the post as a zero reaction. It basically means nothing if someone looks at it and flicks on. A like basically counts as like one point. A comment counts as two points. If you direct message it or share it to your story, that counts as three points. And then if you save it, it counts as four points. And basically if you add up all these points together, how many comments you have, how many likes you have, how many shares you have, how many saves you have, if you add these all these up together, it'll rank Basically, this is a like a good way of thinking about it. It'll rank higher. So if you if yours if you get loads of saves, then you're having four points and four points and four points and four points. You have this really high points sheet, which Instagram is going to be like, right, this is really engaging. Loads of people want to save this to the camera roll. We'll push that out to more people. Okay, cool. Now that we have the basics of how that's done out of the way, now we can get into the hack. So. The hack, you've seen it done loads of times, loads of people do it, is to share your reel to your story. Now, every time someone looks at your story, after you share a reel to your story, it plays as a reel. Like, it's not just when you share a post to your story, it just comes up with a little box that you can click on. When you share a reel, it actually plays through on your story. And this counts as a view if someone watches it on your story. But there's a thing about this that's not that great because if you're not getting engagement, Instagram aren't gonna promote it to more people. So if you put on your story, and let's say when we're flicking through stories normally, you look at a story and you flick on after one or two seconds. You don't usually watch the whole story. If you want to watch the whole thing, you tap into the post. So if people are seeing your story, right? They're seeing, it counts as a view for you, but if they only watch three seconds of it and then flick on, Instagram's gonna think in its head, right, every time someone sees this reel, they only watch it for an average of three seconds and the reel itself is 12 seconds, therefore it's not a hugely engaging reel. But if they went onto your page, let's say they saw in their timeline, they might stay on a little bit longer because when you go to stories, you want a little quick snap in and out, I'm just here to look at a few things, then go. When you're on your feed, you're kind of looking for longer content, more high quality content. So when you put in your story, if they don't react, if they don't give it a like, if they don't go in and comment, if they don't save it, if they don't direct message it to anyone, Instagram can basically see that this many people have seen it and a huge majority of them didn't even interact with it at all. So yes, it counts as an interaction because it counts as a view, as in everyone who sees your story is gonna count as a view towards your reel, but if they don't react to it, if they don't give it a like, if they don't comment, if they don't save, then it's not gonna rank as well on Instagram's like ranking ladder or whatever you wanna call it. So you wanna make sure that you have the type of account where people are gonna tap on it and engage. Try and, if you're sharing it to your story, don't just share it there and just leave it there. Maybe like prompt them to go visit the story. Like ask questions, say like, I don't know, let's say you're taking a picture of the building. You might be like, uh, put a question like, did anyone notice the, the birds flying in at, at the end? Or like, did anyone notice the car almost crashed? Or so, if something exciting happens, obviously don't make it up but maybe ask a question that'll prompt people to want to look at the video and see for themselves. So you might even be like, 
what color was the stop sign in the video and people be like oh it's red and they might be like oh maybe it was green i'll watch the video i'll check and then now they've tapped into the video that's an extra reaction and while they're there in the video they might make a comment or a like and that will boost your views so if you're not if if every time you share your reel to your story if you've done it before you'll know about this if you haven't done it before well then you won't know about it every time you share it to your story you're able to swipe up from the bottom and you're able to see how many people click on your reel to go and visit your page and if this is a really low percentage that's not very good and I don't recommend that you should continue doing it in the manner you are because if you're posting it to your story and let's say you get let's say you get a thousand views right that's quite high to be fair but let's say you get a thousand views and let's say only four people click into your reel right that's four out of a thousand that's such a small percentage so basically Instagram is saying that right this person got a thousand views and only four of them actually liked the post or something. And obviously Instagram's gonna be like, right, it's not a good quality post. So I know this is just a quick talk about one hack you can do to get more views. And as I've said, if you share it to your story, everyone who sees your story, it does count as a view, but it's a really low quality view if they're just gonna skip on. If they don't watch your whole story through, if they don't tap on it, if they don't interact with it in a proper way, if your average view time is only gonna be reduced to about point like one of a second or like one second or two seconds as opposed to your actual length of your reel. If your average view length is gonna be so short because you shared it to your story, that might damage your your reach on your reel because it's gonna think it's a low quality reel. So if you're gonna share it to your story, yes, it'll be an extra view, but you have to make sure that people are gonna watch it all, are gonna tap on it, are gonna engage, otherwise you're actually hurting yourself in the long run. So I hope that all makes sense. It's just a little tip I found from I don't actually share my reels to my story for this reason. Not that I've tried it, I tried it once or twice, but I find that if I don't share it to my story, it kind of gets more views naturally. And I think natural views are often more engaging because even if I did have a, I often have quite a high engagement rate on my stories, but even if I posted it to my story, I know I wouldn't have as high an engagement as if those people on my story saw it in their their feed. If you're a type of account, if you want to try it out, maybe consider testing it. Does it work for you? You might find this post, it worked well, this post didn't. Just play around, look at your analytics. Analytics? That is what they're called. That felt weird to say. Anyway, yeah, just check out your analytics. Analytics? What's it called? Analytics. <laughs> analytics. I, uh, well, I'm guessing what's <laughs> Yeah, it's analytics. Oh my God. So analytics, check out your analytics in your page and go to your archive and you can check your analytics for the story itself. So you can keep looking back, checking on it. Is sharing reels to your story doing well? So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Tap subscribe for more tips like this and for more photography and videography related content. Really appreciate it if you did subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.